to shine astrology and tarot and it is time to do my favorite thing which is make a cup of coffee um so i the very first thing i do like every single morning is i sit down with my cup of coffee my french press is my most favorite thing and i drink folgers coffee it is canned coffee that you can just get anywhere. I've been drinking it. Uh, my grandpa used to drink it and so it's really special to me. This is my favorite favorite cup because I don't have to go back twice. It's big enough. I have a secret coffee fetish, um, a coffee mug fetish. So I really enjoy boiling my water. I think it's kind of like one of those things where it just feels so clean and fresh. It's one of my elements, one of my primary elements is water. So anything I do with water is pretty symbolic. Um, but this is just such a calming process for me. It kind of gets me in the mood. Um, I had cleaned right before that to kind of embrace all of this beautiful cancer energy that we see today. Um, so this is my space. I have a YouTube area that I designated for myself instead of using it for the dining room. And this is my puppy. This is Francis. He is probably the cutest thing ever. And he's the love of my life. He's so cute. And this is my tarot shelf. And this is my workstation. This is my filming station. Um, and this is where I do a lot of private study. This is in my bedroom. I love having this space. It's just so calming and it's a, it's, it's a secret study space for me. So we're going to start out by writing out the new moon's intentions on a piece of paper. I put all my favorite crystals by my writing. I'm holding my moonstone because, um, of course, the moon rules cancer. And so it's kind of symbolic that I have that energy in my hand as I'm writing out these intentions. So this is the new moon in cancer. It's the second new moon that is going to be happening on July 20th, 2020. So just take your time here and try to figure out exactly what you would like um, to usher in. Usually I try to sync my wishes or my wants or my intentions around the energy of the actual moon. So Cancer Energy, um, it has to deal with your home and family. It has to deal with um, your physical home, but also your vessel, your, where your soul is, in, is encapsulated. So um, when I try, when I do intentions, I try to make intentions based on that type of energy. Also, the opposing energy of this new moon is Capricorn. So some of the intentions you might want to set on the 20th have to do with ways that you would like to empower your life, empower yourself, things that you would like um, in your career to achieve over the upcoming year. It's also a great time to really target and isolate your goals because this is an empowering time, especially in your room, in your favorite space where you tend to relax. <laughs> the kids, I am like the whole entire apartment complex's mom and so the kids are outside my window wanting popcorn and wanting me to play with them. <laughs> They're so cute. So they're a little distracting, but I love them. Oh, bye. <laughs> they're so darling. They'll be back in about 20 minutes. So sorry about that. So anyhow, um, setting goals is the, one of the most powerful intentions that we can do um, during a new moon. And you have to understand this has been a very 
unusual year for cancers because they've had two new moons in cancer but technically um, this is only supposed to be you only get one year usually so you really want to really touch and embrace the entire 12 uh, zodiac signs for the year because that is a, a complete um, in, it encapsulates everything that you would ever need or want both in the spiritual realm as well as in the physical realm if you set intentions based on the zodiac and so um and i do oppositions because oppositions are what entice us to make the changes and so it's just really important that um, you embrace the opposing energy as well so this is a time where everything in our life seems to be challenging our normal perceptions of life and so I'm really attaching to very simplistic things I think I'm very um, I'm kind of channeling more of the Capricorn energy simplifying my wants and needs um, around safety and security for my loved ones and for me as well so it's a very pivotal time for us to be, you know, setting intentions around, I would think, safety, security, um, health, um, money is a big one. You know, your career status is a huge one. And some of us are going to have to embark upon new career endeavors as our options may now be limited as to what we can do moving forward. This is also a great time if some of you have been desiring to make changes um, in your career that you've always wanted to make but never had the energy to do, really work um, on this new moon, setting those intentions in the safety and security of your own home, in your favorite spot, in that place in your in your life where you feel like you have you're comforted and you're the most secure when setting these intentions i think that's the most important thing to do with cancer energy is to surround yourself with that energy so now that we're done setting our intentions and you can set as many as you want it doesn't have to just be one page worth now we're going to commence on kind of a ritual that i do personally and it's the folding and the clearing of my intentions. So I put a smoky quartz, a clear quartz, and my, um, my moon quartz. So I'm just setting an intention here. I'm asking for this to be cleared. I'm asking for this to be energetically um, remove all negative energy and to also um, have this be a motivated by emotion with my moonstone so as you see I'm folding these and I kind of sped it up a little I'm folding these toward me so fold away for like full moons um, fold towards you for new moons I'm just gonna fold these all up here and then because I don't have a yard, because I live in an apartment, um, I want to plant my intentions in something that will grow. You can do this in your yard. and But if some of you live in an apartment or in the city, you can do this in your house plants. And so you will nurture and love this house plant or your outdoor plants and you water them and you'll give them the right light and that in turn is going to give your intentions you know the right energy so i'm going to bury all of my intentions in my house plant next to my workspace because i feel like that's where the most positive energy is
love this plant. I think it's a pothos plant. It's so green and pretty and easy to grow and absolutely loves where I've, I've stuck it on my desk. Now that we're done, I'm just going to clean up my space. I made a teeny bit of a mess here. And now I'm going to water. And I'm really going to just, because the energy is water-based, you know, I'm going to really relish and be in a place in my mind where I am really nurturing and loving this plant so that it can really nurture and love the energy that I put into this plant. Okay, and then I picked out some tarot cards that are specific. This, of course, is Cancer's card. But I've picked out cards that surround the intentions I want to set. So if I see them in my readings, I remember that I, you know, actually intended these to be part of my year. I, I set intentions around growth for my channel, growth for my home business, um, perfecting my gift, um, my favorite card, which is the Empress. And I, I realize that I'm in a growth process, so I'm really trying to master that. And then these are just my favorite cards out of all of tarot. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and then the Ten of Pentacles. Just a rich, lovely, wonderful life. I had to throw in this cat because I just think it's adorable. And <laughs> it just makes me warm and fuzzy on the inside, so why not, right? So when you're setting intentions, you want to really embrace water energy with this. Maybe take a bath, maybe take a shower, maybe even go to the water. Sit there and you can set your intentions there, you can write there, or you could have a really long bath and then come home and after you've really saturated yourself in the element of water, then set these, set these intentions. Water is represents emotion in astrology. It represents being fluid and going with the flow. It also represents the depths of your emotions as well as the tides of our emotions, how they come in and out and they waver up and down. So water is one of those really beautiful elements that I really love to work with. A lot of times I will take these really, really, really long showers and I will get some of my best ideas because it is one of my soul elements because I'm a Leo on the cusp of cancer. So um, it's really important that when you're working with your soul's element that it becomes part of your ritual as you're setting these intentions as you're working with your new moon and your full moons. I find being by water is a clearing for me. It's a simplifying energy for me. Um, I feel like when I take a shower, I cleanse away the harshness in my life. When I'm swimming is probably one of my best feelings because I'm immersed in my element and there's just a simplicity in just being able to float in water and to feel it hold you up and how gentle water is. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful feeling. I absolutely love the energy of these turtles, like they're just really enjoying their moment of just calmness and peace as they're surrounded with water and just they're purified in that moment and I just completely love it.
So the other thing that is incredibly wonderful to do is to go by a lake or a river or go to the ocean and just sit and listen to the ebb and flow of that said body and picture every time the tide comes in that um, it is ushering in good feelings and good emotions and feeling emotionally abundant and every time the tide goes out um, picture removal of negative energy um, a release of emotion and just um, feeling like you have room to embrace the positive Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching today, and I hope to talk to you guys again real soon.